Hope friends and family. Welcome to the Daily Hope for today. My name is Wendy and I'm on staff here at New Hope and I've worn my favorite uniform. I've got the red and black buffalo check going today. I think I could wear this every day, actually, if they'd let me. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. Uh, I want to talk to you today about just getting into God's Word. And I've been in the book of Philippians lately, which is in the New Testament. And it's this book that Paul writes while he's in prison, but it's a book of encouragement for our hearts. I love Philippians 2. That's what I want to read for you today. So maybe you're driving right now or watching, you can just close your eyes and hear God's word. It says this, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambitious or vain conceit, but in humility, consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of other. And then he goes on to say this, your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He starts out saying, if any of you have experienced tenderness or love or any of this. And what we know this to be true is if we're walking in Christ, we've experienced that. It's like saying, hey, have any of you experienced the sky today? Or did you see a tree? The answer is probably yes. So Paul says, if, if you've experienced any of this, praise God. And then a reminder that our attitude should be that of Christ Jesus, who the ultimate gift of love died on the cross for you and for me, took all the sin of the world, but rose again and conquered isn't that good news? That is such good news and we can stand on that. And I just want to say, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, make today the day you know. Reach out to any of us here uh, at New Hope on staff. We'd love to connect with you and I'd love to pray. Lord, thank you so much that we can have this relationship with you, that it's not just news we click through or something we think, ah, oh, yeah, sounds good, not sure it's real. But Lord, you are the God who created us and we are made in your image and you want this intimate relationship with us. So this day, I pray that we would walk with you, that we would know your heart, that we would uh, remain in you as you lead and love. We just praise you for who you are. In your name we pray, amen. Have a great day.